Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the Common Sense Crypto Channel. As with you always, this is Rich doing another video today on HBAR. But before I get started, please click the like and subscribe button as it helps this channel grow very quickly. So we're going to start with this. Uh, Mr. Wonderful is a smart man. He knows HBAR is going to take over the world. And he has a big bag filled already. Now most of the time with celebrities, I don't listen to them too much. But the thing about Kevin O'Leary is this. He's a billionaire. So he knows, you know, where he should invest his money. And he looks at HBAR and he knows it's going to be big. And he looks at other cryptocurrencies also. And what I noticed with him is he t likes to be invested in things with utility and use case. So in my opinion, that makes him pretty smart. And we're starting to see that with a lot of cryptos now. Where people are looking more at utility and use case more than ever before. I've said it in other videos. Before it was always talk of meme coins and oh this is going to pump and that's going to pump. But now people are more quiet about it and they talk like well you know this one has this going on and that going on. Look at the utility on this coin and the use case on that coin. Plus you can't ignore all these partnerships. People are getting very smart when it comes to cryptocurrency. I talked to someone the other day and I said to them, you know, I know you're in the stock market because I know they are. And I know they use a financial advisor. And I asked them, does your financial advisor ever talk to you about cryptocurrencies? Like, oh, he says that's very volatile and a bad investment. I said, listen, if your financial advisor was to talk to you and want to make you a ton of money, he would be talking to you about crypto. He would be telling you, look, this is the utility and the use case. Maybe they're just not educated yet as a financial advisor. If they're still thinking that crypto is just a big, huge, volatile market that's going to steal everyone's money, no one's going to invest. I mean, think about it. Who really wants to be in the boring stock market? You get a 2% gain over the course of like, what, three months? In crypto, in the course of three months, you could see a 100x. You know, you might get a 2x on your investment in stocks. I think every single financial advisor should take a good look at crypto. Maybe go and look at the utility and the use cases. A lot of people are going to miss out because they're trusting in a financial advisor. I never really tell any of you to go and buy any sort of crypto. I point out the fact that, hey, look at the utility and the use case on this. This is a good investment. But I'm not going to tell you, hey, you know, empty your bank account and go all in right now. Because I never tell anyone that. I tell you, invest what you could afford to lose. But at least invest in utility and use case. You can't go wrong. So I'm convinced HBAR has some decent fundamentals. The HBAR Foundation is one of the hardest working names in the crypto space today. The guys are literally working on building an endless ecosystem. Also bringing top tier tech companies into Web3. I'm telling you right now, HBAR is going to be massive in Web3. So the hot DeFi summer is upon us with $3 million plus TVL within just a few hours on Saucer Swaps Labs. With the public launch this Friday for the much anticipated DEX, things are really starting to heat up in the HBAR ecosystem. Hello, DeFi 2.0. That's going to be big for HBAR. I mean, this for me, tons of utility, tons of use case. You got swap, liquidity, farming. Come on. So the accelerator program launched by Lumos Labs in collaboration with the HBAR Foundation will consist of two five-month cohorts with the goal of encouraging and empowering Web 3.0 entrepreneurs. We can see Web 3.0 coming. I also talk to people about Web 3.0 and they sit there and they say, how could they fix the internet or improve it? It's like, come on. If you got to give up talking to some people at some point or another because the more you try to explain this, the more they just don't see it. But we all see it as investors in cryptocurrency. So you want security. You want to kick ass NFTs. 
you want to get in early, check out HBAR. Information courtesy of Parabolic HBAR. And that's the thing. HBAR just continues to grow, continues to build. In the bear market, in crypto winter, like I always tell you on this channel, the best things come out of crypto winter. So the Hedera network ecosystem will now have access to Metarico's industry-leading blockchain and DLT monitoring and analytic platform, offering the community unprecedented on-ledger metrics and visibility into the performance of the network. Hedera Metrica partner to offer developers unprecedented visibility into blockchain performance. That's big. Another partnership even in the bear market for HBAR. Just in case you don't think Hedera is going to be an absolute powerhouse in the future, no problem. That's totally fine. But companies like Google, IBM, and Douche Telecom will most likely disagree. Don't get left behind. And that's the thing. I don't want to see any of you get behind. I want to see you all become rich. Because if you get rich, I get rich. I'm invested in every single crypto that I talk to you all about. If I do a video on it, I'm invested in it. That's my portfolio. And here's the thing. Say crypto went to total zero and you got wrecked. Guess what? I get wrecked with you. I wouldn't have it any other way. Why? Because I don't want to come on here and tell you that you should be going all in on this and all in on that. Well, I'm not even invested in it. I said it in other videos. It's not right. But people do it all the time. But the thing is, at least with HBAR and cryptocurrencies such as the ones we talk about on this channel, at least I know when I'm telling you, hey, look, here's the utility. Here's the use case. It's a very good buy. You should invest in it. It's a good opportunity. At least I could say that in all honesty and show it to you in all honesty. So, announcement at Consensus 2021. The two will join forces to advance the global financial ecosystem through DeFi solutions. Hedera is partnered with Alliance Block. And in my opinion, Alliance Block is going to be massive. A lot of people are going to miss out on that. But here's the thing. HBAR is also massive. Bringing the two together is great. I do videos on ALBT also because I invest in ALBT. And Hedera is clever, but fair prince of the two who will disrupt and dethrone his parents for the better of the commonwealth. And they're talking about HBAR dethroning Ethereum and Bitcoin. You can't argue with the new technology. Bitcoin and Ethereum are data technology. HBAR, it's like this. No one wants to invest in an iPhone from 10 years ago. They want to invest in the iPhone today. They want to go out and buy the newest one. Why? Because of the technology. Because of all the use cases of the new phone. Maybe it has a better camera, better sound, better apps. It's the same thing with cryptocurrency. You don't want to buy into 10-year-old technology and hope for the best. When right now, you could buy into the newest technology and get rich. And it doesn't take much. I've said this in multiple videos today. That it doesn't take much to know what you're buying. I mean, look at it like this. Look at those. Look at those names. Google, Boeing, LG, IBM's on there somewhere, I'm sure. I mean, these are the companies that are tied to HBAR. Those are huge, massive companies. They don't need to partner with anyone. They can run without any partnerships because that's how big they are. But they chose HBAR. Why did they choose HBAR? I'll tell you right now. It's because of the technology. The things HBAR is doing. They have use cases. And then we see this. Exchanges. Token users are issuers. SDK. Wallets and custody providers. Council members. Explorers. Security audit, audit and assurance. Standards and system integrators. Look at the names on here. If you don't see the utility and the value in HBAR, you are going to miss out. Because like I said before, 
These companies don't need partnerships. They don't need these things. They create these partnerships for a reason, for a use case, for its utility, for its technology. And they see that in Hedera. And that's why they're partnered with it. That's why they have ties to HBAR. When this finally does go parabolic, and it will, HBAR is going to melt faces very soon. With that said, I'm going to wrap up today's video. I want to thank you all for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Have a great night.